Hello, and welcome to this Omron webinar. My name is Molly Cray. I'm an event marketing manager with IHS Global Spec, and I want to review a few housekeeping items with you before we begin. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with the operation of the user interface for today's webinar. The large window with the heading Omron Presentation in the upper left is the primary window for today's webinar. You should be seeing the welcome slide there now. Just to the right of the main presentation window is the speaker bio window with background information on today's presenter, Robert Subert. Just below that is the Q&A window. At any time during the presentation, you can enter a question into the box in the lower section of the Q&A window and click Submit. Your question will be placed in the queue for Robert to address when we get to the Q&A session. At the bottom of your screen, you will see seven buttons. The first three either minimize or restore the three windows we've already discussed. The others allow you to share your webinar experience using social networking tools, take a survey to provide feedback to our presenter, and do a little troubleshooting like running the system test or consulting the FAQ document. If you can't remember what a particular button does, just place your mouse pointer over it and a tooltip will appear with a description of the button's function. Now, I would like to introduce you to Omron Electronic Components. For 80 years, Omron has been a leading manufacturer and provider of advanced electronic components. Omron Electronic Components LLC is the America's subsidiary of Omron Corporation, a $7.5 billion global leading supplier of electronics and control system components and services. Building on eight decades of experience, Omron Electronic Components provides a variety of component solutions that are suitable for use throughout the entire transportation industry. Whether you are designing a line of heavy-duty equipment, trucks or buses, recreational vehicles, marine or off-road vehicles, Omron has a solution for you. In partnership with the Power and Signal Group, an aeroelectronics incorporated company, Omron is committed to providing quality-driven products, innovative solutions, and reliable support to satisfy the design needs of the transportation industry worldwide. Together, we hope you enjoy this presentation. Now, to get the webinar started, here's your Omron Automotive Components Product Manager, Robert Subert. Robert? Today's webinar will be covering automotive relays and switches as used in the transportation industry. I'm Robert Subert, and I'm the Product Marketing Specialist for Automotive Relays and Switches. We'll be covering the following topics today. DC Power Relays, our new technology Generation 2 Relays, applications where DC Power Relays are used in, Automotive relays will cover applications and product lineups and how Omron is working towards miniaturizing our relays. Automotive switches, uh, product lineup and applications, our value added capabilities, how we can customize the switch to your needs, and power and signal will give you a quick overview. There are distribution partners. Omron has a broad lineup of relays to meet diversified needs focusing on small size, little heat, high wattage relays. New relays are being constantly added. We have PCB relays and we have plug-in style relays. Omron's current lineup of relays include DC power relays and we've added new PCB relays and new DC power relays. Omron has a large variety of sealed switches for transportation applications. They come in a variety of contact ratings and terminal options. Omron relays can be used in a multitude of applications. Some of the examples of applications that they can be used in are shown in this diagram here. So anywhere from um, sunroofs to seat modules to powertrain front modules, steering modules, door modules, uh, hybrid vehicles, Omron has a solution for any type of application that requires a relay within a transportation application. The table here shows applications and relays. This table helps select the correct relay for each application. Omron will work with you to select the correct relay for your application and your specification. Omron is a leader in clean energy with compact, quiet, energy efficient designs of DC power relays. In this section we'll discuss some of the relays that we have, the technology behind the relays, and our world's smallest, lightest, second generation relays that are available on the market. We'll also discuss some of the applications that they can be used in. Here is Omron's current lineup of DC power relays. 
They're rated anywhere between 25 amps and 300 amps. They can be used in a variety of applications. Some examples that we'll go into further into the presentation would be hybrid electric vehicles, power generation, industrial equipment. So there's a wide variety of uses that these relays can be used in. Amon's DC power relay. Amon's released the world's smallest, lightest DC power relay, G90N, capable of interrupting high voltages and high currents. This is available on our website. It's a flash, so if you want, you can go through this yourself when you have time. I'll just go through some of the um, features within this flash, so let's have a quick look at applications. So some of the applications where the DC power relays can be used in, because they're smaller and quieter, um, opens them up to be used in a variety of different applications. So we'll start in the home. Um, so within the home, you could use them if you have a fuel cell, so you could use them for really for high interruption voltage, or for a PV inverter, really for high voltage interruption, storage system, uh, electric charging station for electric vehicles and for a hybrid electric car uh, so the main relay for the battery circuit, relay for a charger or relay for accessory equipment and a factory similar sort of applications for fuel cell PV inverter, capacitor uh, for forklift so the main relay on the battery circuit or relay for a charger in a power plant on the PV inverter and power construction these relays are I'll let it run through this um, a lot of the stuff that's um, the technology is based on being hermetically sealed relay that we basically fill with hydrogen gas and have permanent magnets and um, with these permanent permanent magnets, we use Fleming's law to reduce the arc. And because of all the technology that we've put into these relays, uh, we can make them smaller and lighter, um, able to carry very high currents. features of the new G90N so because of all the new technology that we've applied to them um, we were able to make them smaller and lighter no polarity make them very easy to use in many types of applications uh, so you don't have to worry about which terminal is positive and negative so it makes it simpler to use, um, easier to fit into your application. And this is due to the permanent magnets that we put in them. And there's a variety of customized uh, terminations that we can have so you can have lead wires you can have uh, screw terminals tab terminals quick comparison so you can compare it to our G90 EC relay to the G90N relay um, so you can see that the weights in half the cubic volumes in half and it's a lot quieter so only 49 decibels product lineup G90N released, G90J is released, G90M to be released shortly, so we have 60, 25, and 150 amps. In our existing lineup, we go from 20 amps all the way up to 300 amps, the G90H. Again, here's our product lineup. Again, it gives you some uses where they could be used in, so G90M would be ideal for hybrid electric vehicles or fuel cell electric vehicles. Um, pre-charged circuits, uh, general purpose industrial equipment, um, variety of applications. 
G90J, which is the pre-charge, using, using the pre-charge um, 25 amp G90J. Um, again, 25 amp G90M to be released shortly, 150 amp G90A. That's our existing uh, lineup. The, the, that's our anywhere between 180 amps. G90B, which is our pre-charge relay, 25 amps. G90C, 200 amps. It's w w one of the most common ones used. G90D, uh, mainly used in automotive. G90H, 200 amps. So that covers all our relays. And again, if you want to go into this further, you can uh, go onto our website and you can go through the same thing I just went through. This is a comparison of Omron's second generation relays. As you can see, the first generation relays are on top, that's our current product offering, and the ones on the bottom are our second generation. You can see that they're smaller, lighter, um, they come in different types of terminations as well. We've currently released the G9EJ and G9EN, uh, and the other ones are due to be released shortly. Here are our second generation relays. G9EN has been released. It's available in a 60 amp version, also a UL version. G9EJ was released last month, available in 25 amp version. G9EM will be released shortly at 150 amps. We've had a lot of interest in this product due to the fact that they're small and there's low power consumption. Here are some examples of how we can customize DC power relays. There's alternate terminal arrangements. We can add two relays together into one module, so there's various different arrangements we can make. So if there's something that you need that we can look into and we can basically work with our engineering departments to see if we can come up with a configuration that meets your need. Here is an application showing configuration for DC power relays in a forklift type application. There could be as many as seven different relays used. Not all of them would require a DC power relay depending on the, the rated load and the voltage required would determine if a DC power relay should be used. Here is a hybrid electric vehicle application. The circuit here shows three DC power relays. There's two main power switching relays and one pre-charge relay. Typical type of relay that you would use was a G9EC and a G9EB. Fuel cell electric vehicle application. The circuit here shows four relays. There's two main power switching relays, one pre-charge relay, and the fuel cell main switching relay. Here's a possible example of a fuel cell generating system that could be used for home appliances or for telecom backup or for power supplies for computers. Again, this uses four relays, two main power switching relays, a pre-charge relay, and a fuel cell main switching relay. Here's an example where DC power relays could be used in generating systems for wind generators, PV cells, there's one relay, the main power relay, for switching the main power off. DC power relays also have use in factory automation. For instance, in a factory robot, there would be two DC power relays used for urgent break. DC power relays can also be used on a crane for a ship. They would control the DC motor. There would be four DC power relays used. They would be used for urgent brake switching. High-speed charging stations for electric-powered vehicles are being rolled out globally. There's numerous applications that Omron products can be used in. The G9E would be used in that type of application as an urgent block to the DC high voltage. Um, there's also our switches that would be used for detecting the charger if it was coupled to the connection. So there's various products that can be used in this type of application, uh, one of which is the DC power relays. In this section, we'll be discussing the Omron Automotive Relays. We'll discuss the plug-in relays, the standard ISO and the standard 280, and the miniaturized versions of each. Here are the Omron ISO relay families. You have the Power Mini, the G8JR. You have the Mini, the G8JN. The miniaturized version of that is the G8HE. 
we have the Micro, the G8HN, and the miniaturized version of that is the G8HL. Here are the Omron 280 relay families. We have the Power Mini, the G8JR280 style. We have the Mini, which is the G8W. And the miniaturized version of that is the G8V-RH. We have the Micro, which is the G8V. And the miniaturized version of that one is the G8VA. Omron has custom G8JR covers. So we have the weatherproof version. We have plug-in with uh, bracket rails, ISO with molded brackets, the shrouded version. Armand's working on numerous different types of PCB relays. Here are some examples of where we've taken our uh, existing generation of relays and working towards the smaller, higher powered relays in smaller packages. Here's an example of bus electrical center space savings when you're using Omron miniaturized ISO or 280 style relays. Uh, by taking the existing relays and using a smaller relay, you can either reduce the size of the BEC or increase the content. Omron relay quality formula starts with a good design, plus excellent processing, completely automated, cleanless, done in a clean room conditions, completely automated, and inspection, completely automated inspection, which equals high quality, low PPM. Omron's manufacturing advantage. Control. Omron's assembly equipment is manufactured by Omron's own industrial automation business group. Consistency. Relays are built off the same assembly equipment regardless of global location. Continuous improvement. Lessons learned can be taken from individual plants and applied to next generation of equipment and design. Global engineering capabilities. Asian, Europe, North America design support. Asian, Europe, North American application sales and support. Japan R&D resources. Full 3D CAD capabilities. Finite element analysis. Dedicated magnetic simulation software. Failure mode analysis. Prototype and rapid prototype capability. Omron has global test capabilities. We have certified labs in North America, Europe, and Japan, product development and quality support, engineering prototype labs for development support, in-house durability testing to either simulated or actual loads, mechanical and environmental testing, dust, vibration, humidity, temperature, quality analysis, x-ray, metallurgical, sectioning, vision, parametric, whole multitude of equipment to do complete quality analysis, Omron has numerous awards from our customers for automotive relays. We're certified to TS-16949 and ISO-14001. We have awards from Ford, Subaru, Mitsubishi, Toyota, Kami, Delphi, Yazaki, just to name a few. In this section, we'll be discussing Omron switches used in automotive. Omron has a wide product range of switches. We have tactile dip switches detection switches, specialty switches, rocker toggle switches, OEM automotive switches, and our automotive switches used for transportation. Omron has local engineering support in North America for automotive switches, 3D and 2D CAD software support to provide fast communication, analysis equipment for basic QA and rapid prototyping. We can do customized switches and provide samples quickly. Automotive switch application and products. Armon has a variety of switches for various automotive components. Uh, some examples where these components could be used are power door locks, power latch, hood latch, in the interior of the vehicle, automatic shift units, seat belt buckles, AC panels, power seating, steering columns for recreational and two wheelers, so motorcycle ATVs. Uh, brake detection levers, hood levers, throttle switch levers, lever switch for golf carts, just to name a few applications. Some of the detection switches that would be used in these applications would be our sealed switches, which would be our D2HW, D2QW, D2VW, D2SW. Uh, we also have dedicated switches, which are the C8 series, basically customized to each customer's need. And we have manual switches, tactile switches, B3AL, specifically designed for automotive applications. 
Here are more examples of a detection switch used in automotive applications. These are for exterior applications, so here's just a few applications where these could be used in a sunroof, power latch, truck cap, wiper motor detection, power window regulator, power door latch, hood latch, power mirrors. Here are some applications for automotive detection switches used inside a vehicle. Steering column, column lock detection, key position detection, air conditioning panels, so lever position detection, automatic shift units, park position detection, electronic shifters, pedals, limit position detection, power seats, seat positioning, seat belt buckle, belt detection. It can also be used on other vehicles, so for instance on a motorcycle or a scooter, on the handlebar you could have brake light detection, carburetor position detection, similar on an ATV, parking brake detection, uh, various other types of detections. On a tractor or forklift, hood lever detection, determine if the hood's open or closed. Uh, on a golf cart, lever switch detection. On a snowmobile, throttle lever. D2HW, an automotive sealed switch, specifically designed for automotive applications. It's small in size and high precision operation designed for flexibility. It has a large over travel of 1.4 millimeters. It has a current rating that can operate between 5 volts DC 1 milliamp all the way up to 2 amp. Specifically designed so it can be used in multiple types of applications from control circuitry to turning on lights. The D2HW comes in various types of configuration and can be mounted various different ways with various different types of terminals. So it has PCB terminals, solder terminals, and lead wires. Also we have a multitude of different levers that can be mounted onto these switches. The switches can be mounted various different ways. They can be mounted um, with no posts on, on a PCB. Um, they can be mounted with plastic brackets or they can be screwed directly to a fixture of some sort, making it very easy to basically use the switch in any type of application that detection is required. Omron's designed tactile switches specifically for transportation and automotive applications. The B3L is one of them that was specifically designed to be used in this type of application. Uh, the B3L has high operating force, a long life, and can be used in the interior of a vehicle. Um, some of the applications that it could be used for is a panel switch or perhaps within a stereo component or something, any place that you need a tactile switch. It's also good for medical, uh, any place that you need long life and high operating force, the switch is ideally suited for these types of application. Armand has designed the D2QW. It's a sliding contact switch. It was specifically designed for automotive applications. It has double reliability twin contacts shown below in the diagram. Uh, because of these contacts, there's very quiet operation, that, unlike our snap action switches, which have a clicking sound. Uh, some of the OEMs have come to us and said that they want very quiet interiors and they want no noise from the switches. So this would be ideal situated in, in any application where you don't want a clicking noise. Uh, because of the sliding contacts, they're also self-cleaning, which allows it to be used with other types of chemicals that a snap action switch uh, cannot be used in because they're self-cleaning. It also has a long travel and it's very similar to the D2HW so it can be used in similar types of applications however where these applications require no snap action sound or they need self-cleaning contacts this switch would be ideally recommended to be used in this type of application. Omron's designed this switch, the C8 EA waterproof micro switch specifically for uh, motorcycle brake units. Where it would sit is on your motorcycle on the brake lever and when you pull the brake lever it would turn on the brake lights. Because of this, this switch can handle two lamp loads, so two 27 watt lamps. It has a long stroke and it's high sealability confirming to IP67 meaning that it can be used in wet locations. It can be used on other types of vehicles as well, so any place that you'd want to turn on 
a brake light on and off or you want to switch two lamp loads this would be the ideal switch for it. So some of the applications that it's currently being used in is ATVs and snowmobiles, uh, golf carts, um, tractors, forklifts. Um, so there's numerous applications for this type of product but it's uniquely designed to be to fit um, very easily on a brake unit on a motorcycle. If the switch does not fit the application, don't hesitate to contact our sales team. We are flexible and can often adapt to customers' requirements. Some of the modifications that we can do are lever modifications, terminal modifications, case modifications, and other proposal. So if you have an application where our switch does not quite fit right, please contact us and we'd be more than willing to come up with a solution for you. Here's an example of what Omron can do to take a standard switch and customize it to your needs. We'll take a standard switch and cut the wires to length. We'll take the lever, we'll cut and bend it, and then we'll add terminals and connectors to the switch to make a switch tailored to your needs. Here is an example where Omron's taken a standard D2HW switch and modified it so it can be used in a hood latch application. We've made this switch more heat resistive than our standard version. So we've taken standard wires and replaced them with heat resistive wires and we've taken our standard over molding and made it heat resistive. So this switch now is guaranteed up to a temperature of 110 degrees C. Other than that, the switch has the same operating characteristics as a standard switch. Thank you very much for joining the Omron and Power and Signal Group webinar today. Before we get to the Q&A session, I would like to tell you a bit about one of our preferred distributors for the transportation industry, the Power and Signal Group. Power and Signal brings you over 30 years of unmatched expertise in the commercial vehicle market, focused on electronic components. Their technical engineering team provides complete solutions from prototype through production, and their sales and logistics provides many unique OEM and supply chain requirements in addition to in-plant stores and on-site personnel. Power and Signal has been partnered with Omron for over five years, focused on the commercial vehicle market driving new relay and switch solutions. Power and Signal has a global pro presence with locations in Europe, Asia, South America, and the U.S. They are ISO certified and are fully acquainted with all of the specifications and requirements that customers in the transportation market may require. Power and Signal has a robust website with product data sheets, the ability to request quotes or samples, as well as place orders. If you are looking for a new relay solution for your next application, Power and Signal's website is a great place to start. You can visit the site at www.powerandsignal.com or call their inside sales team at 1-800-722-5273. And now let's get to the Q&A. As a reminder, you can enter a question into the box in the lower section of the Q&A window and click Submit. Our first question for Robert, does Omron validate products to OEM specs? Yeah, we do that on a constant basis. We have test labs here in, in North America and, and our various other locations. We don't currently have test data. We'll test to the specifications that the OEMs are looking for. So that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, great. Our next question, do the DC power relays meet safety standards? Not all of our relays, but there's, most of the families will have a UL or VDE, so they will meet the safety standards. Some are specifically designed for automotive applications and where the other ones could be used for either or. So, um, yes, we do have some that, that meet the safety specifications. Okay, great. Our next question. If smaller auto relay switches the same current, why use one with, with larger footprint? Well, it depends on the customer's layout of his board. Um, most people basically are trying to save space, but there's a lot of older, um, older generations of relays that still have the same footprint. So I'm assuming what the customer is asking, there is an advantage to go to smaller, but if current, current designs are using a larger one, then stick with the larger one. 
Okay, great. Um, next question. Do we have UL certification for any of our automotive relays? No, we don't. It's, um, they're strictly for automotive applications. Okay, our next question. Would Omron look at our application details and help select a relay or switch? Definitely. We prefer to do it that way. We want to make sure that when the customer is designing in a product that it's designed correctly up front and limits the potential problems down the road. So we'd rather be working with the customer up front as opposed to waiting for later for problems. So we, we want to be there at right at the forefront and work with you, with the customer. Okay, our next question. DC power relays coil voltages? All right, DC power relay. Um, we can make them, um, we can customize the coil voltages to anything that the customer is currently looking for. Currently, most of our DC power relays have 12 and 24 volt. Um, we've had customers come to us requesting 72 volt. Um, depends on the application, but um, we can usually work around the customer's requirements. Um, just have to give us the details, and uh, we can see about um, making a custom uh, coil coil voltage. Okay, great. Our next question: Are your relays ROHUS compliant? Um, well, mo all our con commercial product is, um, and I believe most of our automotive relays are. It just depends on the generation that they're from. But I would say um, the vast majority of our product is our Rojas compliant. So um, anything that the DC power relays are, um, and most of the automotive relays are, and all our switches are for sure. Okay, our next question. In high current relay switches to comply with ROHS rules, what material do you use to replace cadmium? I'm sorry, I don't know that word. Um, I'm going to have to leave that question for later to have to um, get details from our factory, but um, the reason that we can do higher currents is just basically the structure of the relay that we've built and using um, mag permanent magnets and, and hermetically sealing the relay um, to squash the arcing. Um, but I don't exactly have the exact... Um, uh, some of our relays do, um, don't use cadmium, and I, I'm, but I'm not exactly sure what the metal that, that they're made up with. I'd have to check with that later. Okay, our next question. The D2QW has sliding contacts that are self-cleaning. Where would self-cleaning contacts be used? Uh, we're running into this quite a bit right now because the OEMs have gone to um, these, these newer greases that contain silicone, and electromechanical um, components do not, do not like silicone because they could off-gas and produce um, high contact resistance on the components and add the later life of the component. So uh, with sliding contacts, we can basically interact with these silicone greases that the OEMs are basically specifying on some of their applications. So that's one of the main, re main locations that we'd be using this self-cleaning contacts. Okay, and this attendee is asking if there's a minimum quantity for customization. Depending on what it is, if it's something simple, as many as, as little as 100 pieces we can do. Um, if it requires major tooling, obviously that would be um, 10,000 pieces or so. Um, but most things we can do for 100 pieces, and um, so on the switches especially. Um, on the DC power relays, I mean, um, a few thousand pieces. So I hope that answers the question. Okay, great. Our, our next question, um, do CE in quotes is applicable? Um, I 
I'm assuming what the question is, is does it meet VDE? I'm not exactly sure what the what CE um, is, is referring to, so um, maybe if the um, can answer that question. Um, I might have to look into what the, what he's referring to as far as CE means. But if, yeah, if it's the European standard, um, our, v, our DC power relays do meet that, and so do our switches. Our automotive relays don't meet that standard. Okay, great. Our next question, what is leak rate of Hermsfield relays? I'm not exactly sure what the customer is referring to, but if he's referring to our our DC power relays, I, I believe that they're guaranteed for um, at least 15 years. So there should be no leakage in them. I'm assuming that's what he's referring to is the hermetically sealed. Um, and because we put hydrogen gas in there and they're pressurized, so we basically um, shouldn't have any problems of any leakage. They basically have to work for the life expectancy of a vehicle. So there is no leakage as far as it. It probably leaks over decades. I don't know the exact rate. Okay, and our final question. I currently use various relays from multiple suppliers. Is there any way that I can see if they are Omron crosses? Yeah, you can work with power and signal or contact, contact us directly. We can basically go through your list of relays and see what what they would cross into, which families they would cross into, and if need be, we can do a um, exact cross specification by specification, so you can see what you're crossing into, um, see our strengths. So yeah, we're fully capable of doing that, and that can be done usually within hours. Okay, great. Well, we're going to uh, wrap up this webinar right here. Robert, thank you for spending some time with all of us today. To find more information regarding automotive relay and switch technologies, please feel free to visit omron.com. You will be receiving an email with a link to the on-demand version of this presentation, a PDF of this PowerPoint, an FAQ document, and a Q&A transcript. Lastly, please take a moment to complete our survey, which will appear on your screen at the end of this webinar. Again, thank you for taking the time to learn more about Omron's automotive relay and switch technologies. Take care, and we'll talk with you soon.